Okay, welcome to Unboxing Health Solutions. So today we're going to be looking at Genova's Toxic Clearing Element Profile Test. This is a urine collection sample test that gets sent into the lab. When your package arrives, it will look like this. Open it up and you will have one large bottle and your specimen pack. These instructions provide you with all the materials that should have been in your pack, so you can do a checklist here. There's some very important information down here prepping you to go in to do the test, so it's a prerequisite that you need to follow before you end up doing the test. So make sure you read these instructions here because this will tell you what day in your diary you'll be able to complete the test within the parameters to get the best um, outcome of uh, the measurement. So how do we use this kit when it comes to collecting 24 hours of our urine? Number one, make sure you don't collect the, your first urine sample of the day. It needs to be number two. So the first thing that we've got is your urine sample collection bottle. Let's say 10 a.m. was my second wee of the day. I collect my wee, open the cap, I pour my wee into here, I immediately put on the cap and then pop this in the refrigerator. Do not rinse with water, do not clean. You can wipe with a paper towel and then pop the lid back on. Leave it by the, the area which you're going to take your next urine sample from. After your 24 hours of urine collection, you'll remove this from the fridge. Now, on the side, you can see there is a measure of millilitres. You're going to make sure your jug is on a level surface and then note how many millilitres you've provided for your urine sample. So if it was 500, make sure you remember 500 because it needs to be on your paperwork later. Remove the lid, pop the glove on, and fill the cup halfway of mixed urine. When you fill the cup halfway, place the lid back on this sample. Once you have your urine, your mixed urine sample in your cup, you're then going to take this pipette, squeeze the top, pop it in, suck the urine through the pipette, and then pop into the tubes. Now, with the tubes, Take the cap off the top and you need to fill the tubes right to the number 14, right to the very top here. So you'll use the pipette, squeeze, suck and pop that in and again all the way until you get to the top. When you've got to the top, pop the lid back on and make sure it's nice and tight. Repeat the same for the second tube. Fill up the second tube all the way up to the top. Close the tube. Make sure nice and tight. Within your kit, you have two stickers. And on those stickers, it's asking you to pop in your name, date of birth, the date and time that you filled those up. Once you've completed, you do need to complete these. Once you've completed them, they are a sticker and you pop them on the white box on your tubes. From there, you take your samples, once your stickers are on them, take your samples, pop them in the bag with the gauze. Then, take all the air out of the bag and seal. Right at the top, at the back of the bag, so the front, the back of the bag, you'll find that it opens again. You've got these two areas here that open. You want to take the first area open, and then turn the bag inside out. And that is your sample. Pop your, your sample in your box, pop your box back in the fridge just until you finish your paperwork. 
So we're now going to look at what paperwork needs to go in your box to send back to Genova. First piece of paperwork that needs to be completed and needs to go inside the box is this one here, your requisition. On the requisition you will see your practitioner details here, so if you're one of my patients these are my details here. And then you'll see that this box on this left hand side of the paper is marked blue. And that means the bill for this test will go to the healthcare practitioner, so your clinician who's taking care of your health. If there's any particular patient notes you want to put down there, so if you have any disease or disorder that you may feel may be pertinent to the lab doing your assessments, then please do so. You will see up here there are no prices on here, and that's because I get billed for this. So no payment should be made from you apart from courier charges. So if you're using certain courier charges, you will need to pay for that. You need to complete this here. So this is where the additional sample information, collection duration, 24 hours, how many millilitres? If you remember earlier, I said you'll need to remember how many millimetres of sample you collected in this pot that was then mixed up and put into those two little test tubes. So that's your millilitres you'll need to put up on here. And if we are doing provocation, you'll need to do pre and post provocation on there. And on the back, we have your patient details that are required. The blue area you do not complete whilst working with me. So we have no details on there when you're working with me. So you only need to complete this. Like I say, other clinicians may do this very differently. And then you'll need to put in your final sample date and time. So the last urine sample you popped in there, you'll need to put the date and the time on there. So in summary, a patient of mine, you only need to complete this detail here and pay for your charges and tick what box you've used there. On the other side, you only need to complete your personal details here and then pop in your final sample date and time. This form then gets folded up and it goes inside your test kit. Within your home test kit, you will come across returning your samples to Genova. So Genova have given you a head start here. They've given you information if you were sending your sample by Royal Mail. There's also, which my patients find is the best um, one to use, which is DHL. I'm going to run through the DHL way of sending this back only because I've had no problems with this and DHL are fully equipped to work with biological substances. Genova provides you the bag to send via DHL. And what you'll do with this bag is flip the bag over, lock up your box, attach some sellotape here. Sometimes there's a sticker in the box, sometimes there's not. So just pop some uh, tape over that so that Genova know if your tab has been messed with by the time it gets back to the lab. Open up the bag and pop your sample in. And then stick your sample down. There's a little label here to stick your label down. Once you've done that, you'll see that there is a clear pouch at the front of the bag here. And you'll also have these two labels. One is called Medical Express, the other one is called your Way Bill Document. This is the one that will go in that front sleeve. So you'll open up the sticky part of the label, you'll pop your label in and then you stick it back down. You are not allowed to give that and then that to your DHL courier. Often you'll find your sample will get sent back to you if you do that. So make sure you pop that in there, stick it down, stick this down and make sure when your courier comes they get that as one parcel. Now when they take that they will need to see this. And this has all the information that they need to be able to collect that box. To have DHL collect your box, you will need to either log on or call them to get that collection. 
And when you're making your booking to get that collection, and you, generally you don't need to speak to people to, to have this happen with DHL because you have what's known as a waybill document. So you have all your details here. So you can generally log on online, put in all the details on there, and then that has all the information that DHL need to come and collect that the next day. They know it's going to be a biological substance and they will come and collect for your booking. On this document, you will see down at point six and seven and eight, it will say call DHL on that number to get this booked in. You don't need to, you can actually do it on their website and they actually prefer you to do it on their website because they're quite busy. Um, if required, you've got Genova's account details there and if required, you've got their EORI number for getting your collection booked in. Ideally, your test kit really needs to get back to Genova within 24 hours of collecting that final sample. Try to get your booking done between a Monday and a Thursday. Definitely don't do collection on a Friday because Genova won't get it till Monday and it won't be refrigerated. Thanks for joining me, Dr. Joe Abbott at Body MAT Systems Unboxing Health Solutions with Genova's Toxic Element Clearance Profile Test.